Whoa. What happened? Um. Okay, um, someone do a recap while I fix it, because I think if you're watching stream Jesus right Christ. now, I, I apparently my monitors got switched, which ones they are. So, okay, uh, let's, let's do a thing real quick. Someone do a recap. Yep, on it, doing a recap. So, uh, we sped, we followed too closely, we sped some more, we changed lanes without signaling, we changed lanes while running a red light and speeding. Um, right, uh, so we actually started off um, with uh, Lorichik re uh, looting the, uh, the, 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 the body of the boss spider beetle queen lady thing, acid, acid lady, that went kablam, um, and finding some interesting stuff there. That got loud all of a sudden. That I really, really got loud. What the heck yeah, is going yeah, on? Yeah, I gotta turn every. I gotta turn the rest of the world down now. Um, <clears throat> uh, and uh, Rep Rep, of course, came back to life right at the top of the episode. Um, had a vision. Explained all that to everybody later. Um, if you missed it, I'm not going to give you the details because it was beautiful. It was the most amazing goddamn thing that's ever been described to me with words. Um, it would make authors that are living and dead weep. Um, and you should just go watch the previous episode. Watch it on Twitch. Watch it on YouTube. Uh, give Devin some money and, and uh, yeah, go watch vlogs. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was all described there. Uh, we got to meet some of our, our favorite uh, historical characters from this entire saga. Um, let's see. Then uh, we basically went back to the town, uh, shored up everything going on there in the mushroom farm. Um, took our representative from the mushroom farm back with us to from Yunskill back to the warband territories. Uh, had an interesting run in with Casimir, who was deciding to be uh, pantsless or barbarian uh, at the moment because uh, his washing was was getting done. Um, very flirtatious. Very fr flirtatious, uh, pantsless bar barbarian. He may have been raging. Uh, most of us did not ask. Um, oh, you would have known. At least not publicly. Yeah. Yeah, he may have been raging, um, you know, and and, uh, and had immunity to piercing. Uh, uh, so <laughs> it's just a weird detail. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, Iris uh, met us and uh, decided to come back to the uh, warband territories with us to represent Yunskiel. And uh, she got introduced to Prince Zarek, who is now sort of the leader of the free peoples living uh, in the warband territories, uh, about 30,000 of them, 35,000 of them, something like that. And uh, they are negotiating uh, mushroom growing contracts and mushroom mushroom farming rights, uh, mushroom labor, uh, mushroom unions. And uh, yeah, we also had a look at a uh, bronze mask that uh, Lorchik has been carrying around for quite some time. It turns out that is an art piece, uh, one of nine, created by Jean-Marc Pierre Monfrer. Um, a jeweler from Artstat who does not mass produce. He only makes unique one-off pieces. Um, and also, there was a lure that belonged to the uh, uh, the boss spider lady. Uh, I'm sorry, an amulet that belonged to the boss spider lady. When identified, we found out it is a lure that summons the the, uh, the great ash worm. Um, again, go watch vlogs, but there's certain things you have to do to activate it, and uh, not pretty, not great, not fun. So. Um, yeah, we gave that to Lurichik, and uh, I think when we left off, Lurichik is still wearing it. I'm actually not certain. No, no, he gave it to Kuzma. Oh, he did give it to Kuzma. That's good. He gave it to That's Kuzma. That's good, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I figured out what was wrong. And um, all of my monitors got rearranged. That is now monitor one. This is now monitor two. This is three, and this is four. Here we are. It's awesome. So literally all of my monitors were opposite of each other. So I apologize about that. Not in a million years would I have expected that to happen. I actually don't know how or why it happened, but it happened. So. <clears throat> oh, man. So many masks. One mask of power goes to uh, King. What's his name? The King. I don't remember what his name is. Um, the young king Shirim please don't turn into epos fox shirim shirim the shirim the fourth um 
yeah, so here we are. You guys are the war bands. I made tokens and I gave them names so that you know what they are and where the what the what their names are, what they look like. And then also, if you go to the far west, that's where uh, Kozikrik is. Um, Boris and Yana are over there because that's where they live. That's where they have always lived. They also live in another Blackstone Citadel. Um, so that's why I put them over there because that's where they are. Um, here I'll show I'll show everybody. That's where Boris and Yana live. Is way up in the left hand side. Um, yeah, but this is where you are. You guys are in Goransk. Just chilling. Um, you have a few options. You could go to the weeping or the walking willows. You could try and find um, Zoya's was it sister or was it her cousin? I think it's her cousin, right? Right, Sabas. It's Zoya's cousin is who you're looking for in Silt Time, or is it sister? Uh, sister, I think. Sounds closer. Okay. No, her sister is in the crack. Oh yeah, that's right. The, the We've met the sister, the blue yeah. one. Yeah, cousin, cousin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So uh, you, you don't, don't know. know their family tree. It might be both. They are spooders. Sister, cousin. Um. <clears throat> Uncle Grandpa. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you guys have a few options. You could go uh, start making your way east in Siltheim to try and find a soul forged. You could go to the Walking Willows. You could go confront um, the young King Shiram the Fourth if you want to. If you're really feeling cheeky, um, you could do pretty much whatever you want. What do you guys feel like doing? Yeah, I think we have soul forged to find. We have any more pressing matter. I agree. I do have one thing I must do very quickly. Vidar, do you have a scarf or some form of cloak? I have two scarves. And he holds up a white and a black one from uh, Absalorn. <laughs> yep, they both they both oh, right. are spider silk. Uh, he so, a, spider, a spider silk cloak, so I, I kept hers as well. <laughs> um so uh yeah rep rap is going to reach out and touch the uh the the you have you have a white and a black one you said do you have a favorite one uh, the black one the black one it, all right so it's more rep, edgelord that's one a little bit more okay so uh rep rap is going to reach out and just touch the black one for just a second um and say uh it is done this will now hide you better if you wear it you must tie it like a cloak around your head it might look more like a bonnet Sabas, do you have a cloak? <laughs> your 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 robes, do they have a hood? I uh, I could make them have a hood. That would okay. absolutely be a thing. Okay. Uh Rep Rep is also gonna uh reach out and touch uh uh Sabas's robes um and uh say, It is done. These will now hide you better. So mechanically both of you now have a cloak of elven kind, and you can look up what that is. I'm about to give him that. Give it to him. On, there you go. I'm about to give it to him on this Thank one. You. If you guys want to add it on D and D Beyond, you can. The name is Cat. But you only have it until uh, he switches. Uh, until he switches his infusions. This does not include me, correct? No. Yeah, correct. Sorry, not you. Not yet. What the heck? Oh, it's like it's probably gonna lag real hard for a minute because I just imported the D and D Beyond items so I could actually like give you guys stuff in game. Um, <clears throat> all right, what are you guys doing? You going? Where are you going in Silt Time? Uh, the Dar and Sabus. Okay. <clears throat> so in the Weeping Willows, or womp, womp, the, the yeah the the forest in Seldheim, where the Whomping Willow is. Oh. No, sorry, legally distinct, not Whomping Willow. Walking what were they called? Willows. Walking Willows. There we go. <clears throat> where the Walking Willows are, um, isn't that where we're supposed to find uh, the the cousin's spooter? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? But I believe that's also en route to where we're supposed to go find a soul forge. So how many how many how many errands 
do we want to try to combine in this trip out in the minivan? We're talking about the force between Yunskill and the Toad, right? Yeah, the, the one that was very interested in us and like that we had liked. I think that's the only thing we have have to do there. Other than looking for the soul forge that we, we believe is on the continent. Hypothetically, we could drop into Silt, uh, Siltheim and then walk to Artstad to go confront the king because that would get us around having to go through any sort of heavily defended port or anything like that. So that would that would be one more thing we could do from cell time, but that's a bit of an oddball one. What what would you like to confront the king about? Taxes too damn high. Um, <laughs> rents. Uh, yeah, that's a day answer. I would like to talk to him about his motherfucking foreign policy. That's what I want to talk. No, uh, it's uh. That's actually a very good question. I like. We're pretty sure he's in on this whole thing. If he's not, he's just going along with whatever uh, Yvonne has been telling him. So can't really confront him about that. I guess that's more of a. I mean, we could. We could give it a shot. Maybe he's reasonable. Maybe he doesn't know about any of this other void bullshit, right? Maybe he's a prisoner. Maybe maybe he's a uh, yeah. Maybe he's captive in this whole thing. We haven't been actively checking for any scrying, but assuming that they know that we have already found two Soul Forge, one would imagine that they're actively trying to find us and stop us. So anything we do to draw attention to ourselves or our disguises is detrimental. It makes more sense to, to collect as many Soul Forged and collect them all. Perhaps if we ensconce them in some sort of tiny dimensional space that was, I don't know, round? We'd be called the very best, like no one ever was. To find them is your real test. But to train, to them, train is them, them is our cause. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys are yeeting to where? The, the walking willows. What would we like to do in the dancing willows? The walking Wh willows. Whis are, willow. the, walking the walking willows, willows are where the. That's where um, Zoya said her cousin is. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's good. We start there. We go find the the cousin spooter. Yeah, I think we were planning on leaving. We're just going straight there, straight from Yunskiel, but we forgot that we had to eat Ak because of delivering a person. I, I think it, it would be wise to go and find Zoya's cousin, and as soon as we get there, pull out the compass and start making our trek once we do what we need to do. Then let us not delay. I must get back to a forge. I have been working on something. All right. So you guys yeet your way into Yunskiel. Are you going to Yunskiel or are you going somewhere else? Should we yeet directly into the forest? Or... Should we perhaps start on I'm, the outskirts and walk our way in? I mean... Probably probably the safe side of the forest, right? Because one side was just, like, full of mosquitoes, and the other side was fine, you know? We want to start on the side of Yunskil or on the side of Natote? It, it would be on the side of Natote, because the side of Yunskil was where the mosquitoes were. If we go to the far side of the forest... 
Well, actually, no, that doesn't make sense either. Because if we have to go to Nato, then we're we're basically going to backtrack. I don't know. You're cool. We, <laughs> we are confident that the Soul Forged is not near the forest, based on the po direction the compass was pointing when we were last in Unskill. It was due east from Unskill, where the forest is more northeast. It's also possible that the giant driders would be attracted to excess mosquitoes for eating. I trust your judgment. And let us eat to the mosquitoes where she most likely is. We can handle a mosquito. We just handled a very large exploding beetle of sorts. Some of us did. So you guys are going onto the road south of Elekna, but on the western side, or are you going... Just put the the right western there. side, yeah. Yep. Bam. There you go. Uh, Lorshik, you throw your yeet stone. You get uh, the four of you land right outside the walking willows. It is um, time zone wise. You're four hours forward. So you it was early afternoon. Um, now it's turning into evening time. I need all of you to make a perception check, please. We're missing a Sabbath. Yeah, my VTT is lagging like crazy. I clicked the normal button right five seconds ago. Jeez. There we go. <clears throat> it might take it. Oh. Okay. Sabbath still not quite used to heating yet. It goes up. Um, all of you hear a very loud buzzing coming from the south or from the west where the river where the river is or the sort of river the river of clay what are you guys doing do we see anything that's buzzing what time of day is it early evening the sun is beginning to set but we don't see anything we just hear it you just hear it Do you, do you guys hear the buzzing? Yes. I do not see the buzzing. Savage just fucking groans and sits down for a sec. That, that does kind of align with why we came to the side of the forest, though last time we were able to see them quite easily. Can I do like a, a nature check or something to see if I see any spiders? Sure. I don't see any spiders. We do not. Do you see guys them. see any spiders? <laughs> if these are even distant relatives of uh, Zoya, they probably are invisible. Um, you don't see any spiders, but what you do see is um the really, really sort of like the sun is beginning to set. Uh, but what you didn't notice is that the dirt that you're standing on the last time you were here was really caked and sort of hardened, and the dirt has been churned up. And it's, why is it raining? It's not supposed to be raining right now. I'll take that into note that if I need a raining thing, I will do that. <clears throat> so so that we, it's, it's like it's like a, essentially fresh grave type dirt. It's not hard anymore. Yep. All of it. The whole thing. Somebody has recently dug this up. Sabas, they said that their cousins were burrowers, correct? I 
I'm gonna be honest, I can't remember shit right now. Sabas, you are not yet accustomed to eating. Sit. Please, please, please sit. Have some coffee. I can't actually remember. I'm, I'm about 90% certain that it is yes. It's, I'm pretty uh, sure it's in your notes. <laughs> they lived, they were supposed to be living both on top of the trees and also burrowed underneath them and, and the moving forest helps them set up their burrows and things like that. Mm. So we have an either were option, I see. Yep. But the whole forest does move, so. Only slightly. Perhaps if we check the treetops. I was told that things live on the treetops. That is where some of that uh, fantastic uh, jerky that we had in Yunskil last came from. I just yell out, Spider Cousins! Uh, hello? It's like, hold out my arms, like, Climb on me. Okay. It's like, I, I can't get their attention. How are we going to get on top of the trees? Who can climb? I, 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 I can do this. Oh, um. or Vidar, you have sticks that you can, you can put between your make legs and fly, right? Oh yes, that would be an option. <laughs> uh, is there anything up there that we're specifically looking for? Spiders. Spiders. Thank you. I like how everyone was uh, like, Spiders! Vidar is going to toss one of the uh, brooms to low air shake and then use the other one himself and go up towards the treetops. I put the broomstick on the ground to stand on top of it. Say, never mind. I pick up the broomstick and do a little heel tap. Okay. And follow poorly. You guys fly up to the top of these gigantic trees. And at the very top, you see essentially all of them are connected a little bit in some way, shape, or form with like the tips of their. It's almost like the roots grow on the top, and then the rest of it is, like, underneath. It's sort of strange, but the, the the actual, like, branches and stuff are very thick, and they intertwine with each other. And up here, you actually see, like, over the whole top of the thing, you can see, like, small moving objects in the distance and other stuff like that. But, um, yeah, the entirety of this upper area is covered in some sort of uh, ash-covered... Um, Ash covered uh, spider webs. Do you see these spider webs that are covered in that same ash? Wasn't the ash toxic? I, I don't quite remember. Yes, that's why we wear the masks. But they're oh, immune to it. Scarves. I yell again. Spiders! Hello! Okay. Is this well, like uh, covering the complete area all around us? Yes. And, and is there like any spots that are thicker that may look more like a... Uh, like a nest instead of just like covering the area. Go to make a perception check for me, please. I still can yeah, still every time, every time still plus 11 messes with me every time. Um, yeah, you look and, um, sure enough, not right by you, but a little bit deeper in, there is a very thick, like, covering, and it's almost like a big sphere that's suspended. That From the from the forest floor, you would never be able to see it um, suspended in between a couple of, of the big trees. 
Uh, Lower, maybe we should uh, go closer to that, and I point towards it, before you uh, continue yelling. And maybe you won't have to yell as loud if they are closer. I just nod and take my broomstick and scuttle on over there. <clears throat> um, you fly over. Are you, are you going to Vidar? I was say Vidar is going to yell down and, at, and say, "Technician, are you fine to uh, make sure that Sabus gets over yeet sickness? We have uh, some spider webs to explore." Yes, I will be attempting to help her with her yeet sickness. I will attempt to cause confusion. That usually helps. Um, uh, Sarah so should just kind of stand up and look at Rap Rap and go, no, no, thank you. I will show you a magic trick. And then Vidar flies off to, uh, um, one thing I wanted to note, technician, is that you notice that a vast majority of like the large branches, because of your nature check, you're sort of looking around, um, the large branches that go higher up look like willows and the fact that they grow straight out but they have these vines that come straight down that are sort of like broad sort of arrowhead shaped leaves that are covered in like that oily sort of like ash substance um almost as if like instead of instead of water they sort of take some sort of th something from the the uh something from the ash as it falls down onto these like like sort of like jellyfish or the was it baleen from Wales? Do they have like the thing that just catches stuff that moves in between it? You know, it's sort of like yeah, a, yeah. It's sort of like a net where they catch the ash and then absorb something from it. Okay, gotcha. Um, Lorishik and Vidar, you come up on what appears to be a suspended sort of um, capsule or something. Is it moving? Or pulsing? It's moving with a slight breeze, but other than that, it doesn't appear to be moving in a non-natural way. How big is it? It's about six feet in diameter. It almost looks ceramic in the fact that it's covered with so much ash that it's like caked on. It looks pretty old. It doesn't look new. Like, the top of it looks ceramic, Dar but you can definitely tell that it's made of spider silk. Vidar, what was Zoya's cousin's name? Do you remember? No idea. I get really close to the, the egg. And I yell at it. <laughs> Spiders! We're from Zoya. We we know Zoya. Uh, we need your help, please. Good. I don't think it's working. I don't want to touch this because I don't want to die. Um, um, a second after you're like, I don't know if it's working. Um, a set of eight eyes starts to glow in the darkness. The darkness of the capsule or the mm -hmm. darkness of like the There's trees? like a little hole. Like a little hole that you've actually like moved around to look at. It, it, he hello? I start to like inch backwards from it. Render foe. What you hear from Zoya? It sort of keeps turning its head so the whole set of eyes shifts. Vidar, do you remember why you're supposed to talk to the spiders? I, I just look at the spider. I wait, I don't know. I also don't remember the specifics. I just remember that Zoya was uh, had told us that she had uh, family in still time and that she had not had contact in quite a while and that we should search for her family to check in apparently she wants to know that you're okay are you okay I am 
who are you exactly? I'm Lorzvek. And I'm called Flesh Render, and also holds up the uh, the Absalorn cloak or scarf that he's wearing. You are not, but I see her symbol on there, and I trust you. Uh, I I also get a bonus on deception rolls if I get if I'm pretending to be someone else nowadays. That was my level 10 perk. Oh, no, it's it's against Lorishik. If you want to roll a, a deception check, Lorishik, you're more than welcome to do so. You do have advantage because of your disguise, but... What, what do you mean, I am not? You are not who you say you are. That is all. And you the, the, the egg, like the big sack begins to like shake a little bit, um, clearly readjusting. You start to scoop backwards as it herself. shakes. Um, and instead of Zoya is like a black widow and her cousin is sort of closer to like, a like closer to a, a camel spider. So they're sort of like very sleek and carapace. Um, a half woman, half tarantula comes out of this one. Her head is like very elongated and she has eyes that go all the way down. Um, and she actually has like the big like pincer like mandibles coming out. She just sort of stands over you and she like twitches in like a really odd like like if you'd insert noise digitally, she's like sort of twitching the whole time. I am Mira. It it's nice to to meet you, Mira. Why why do you why do you trust us if you think that I'm not who I say I am? Because of that. And she points at the, the scarf. So you were on good terms with uh, Zoya? Oh, yes. We were very close in the old day, in the old times. So why have you not talked to her recently? Because my kin and I have been cut off from the network. She just sort of keeps twitching. Oh. How have you been cut off? Was it intentional? Did you cut it off? Did Zoya cut it off? Did the, the other the evil ash, sister cut it off? The ash cuts us off from it. Oh. Would you like to send a message to Zoya? Yes. Does she have arms? Oh, she does. She has uh she has um her tarantula body only has four four arms, like four feet, four legs, and then her upper torso has four as well. Um and they're like sort of very like spiny. Like, the, the hair on, like, her tarantula body isn't, like, hair. It's actually, like, spines, almost, like, made of, like, keratin or something. And she has, like, three fingers that are, like, giant clawed fingers. And I pull out the sending stone. And I hold it out to her. You just have to say a word. It's mate. And, she's and then you like, can send any message you want, and she'll get it. Just um, make sure you address it to Zoya. Do any of you speak giant? Yes, a little. You speak? Oh, yeah, you're like... I feel like you yeah. ask this every time. Yes. I do. I have to ask, okay? I don't he has to ask, yeah. I have to ask. I speak a little. I'm not there, though. I'm not you're there. You're not there. Um. Yeah. So she speaks in, like, fluent giant into the, the sending stone. And um, right after she's done, it sort of blinks, like... The, 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 the energy sort of dissipates from it and she hands it back to you and she says thank you did she send anything useful that would be like insightful or just like a hello I'm okay love you bye you don't know oh yeah because she's speaking giant that's right 
I just like for some reason my brain was like Poof. <laughs> what did she say you don't know oh yeah I remember that I don't know um <clears throat> and she just sort of thanks you she says anything I can do for you why do the trees stare at us when we walk through them because they live They, they like they're alive and they are sentient and they are aware of our Some presence of and they want them. to hang out and have a drink. Some are friendly. Or they want to kill us. Some are friendly. Some are not. The ones you are above are friendly and have integrated us into them as well. Is there anything that we could help you with? Anything we could do to help reestablish your connection to the network or perhaps help you find a, a new home without the ash or find a way to shield you from the ash. We would need to be moved all together. When you say we, how many of there are you? Because honestly, I, I said spiders like three times and nobody said anything. I have a feeling you're the only one here. She her two bottom hands clap. And all around you, floating in the air, they have made uh, spider silk wings in between their legs. And they have been, like, flapping and, like, floating silently right next to you. There's about 300 million of them. All from anything right. anything from the tiny regular spider size all the way to ones that are between 20 and 25 feet tall. That literally the second they decloak, that literally blot out the sun. Yeah, they can go in and visit. That's where these spiders. And they're go. all like tarantula, like except oh, you could definitely tell they've mutated, and a lot of them are still very black widow like, but a lot of them have transformed into this giant spiny tarantula like body. <clears throat> and all there's a, there's quite a few drier ones actually. In Zoya's area, there aren't any that look like her. In this one, there's about seven or eight of them total that are sort of standing on the treetops and in between the trees and stuff. Uh, would it be all right if I go fetch some of our other party members? They may have more insight into if Zoya actually needed anything specific. She's just nodding at you. Th they are unable to fly. Would we be able to meet you down at uh, ground level? We can come down if need be. I will meet you down there. She claps again, and they all just declo They all cloak back up all at the same time, and it's just bright again. <laughs> Well, as bright as as bright as still time ever gets, still time never really gets very bright. But um, um, Vidar is gonna fly back towards uh, Sabus and Technician. Uh, I follow Sabus and Technician. You see them both come down, and then uh, uh, literally like five seconds later, you see this gigantic tarantula drider start crawling down the side. But you meet creatures love leaf juice. Oh, oh. I uh, I don't know where you hello. got that. Oh, hello. Can, can I ask a meta question, Devin, real quick? Sure. My new level 10 thing lets me mimic people's voices and stuff. Mm -hmm. Is there any chance that I'm able to replicate what it, uh, she said in Giant into the uh, Sending Stone without knowing what it means and have Technician translate it? I... I am going to say yes, because it's only up to 25 words, right? Yeah. So her phrase would actually be fairly short. I'm going to say that I will say yes, yes, yes. But you yeah. – I'll assume that I, I somewhat poorly mispronounced some of the words and stuff maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that you're trying. Like, you got most of it, but, or like some of it. Okay. So I have giant rudimentary mm -hmm. on here because I've just been picking up words. What do you want me to roll to translate what he's repeating he heard 
the spider say poorly. So I'm going to say at disadvantage, I'm going to say just roll a history check. Oh boy. <laughs> at disadvantage. Yay. This is going to go well. Well, both of you are rudimentary at best, at most. I, I, I'm not disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just making a prediction. That's all. Look how well. Seven, you got like the word for sister, companion, home, um, friends or companions. Like, but the different word for companion, more like a um, f like the, the word for family is one, and then there's another one that's like basically the word for cousin, essentially. None of the words involve eating or no, war. None of them. None none that I heard. Those are words I would definitely recognize from talking to the refugees. They mostly complain about not having enough food. Uh, so we, we had uh, given her our, our sending stone and wanted to make sure that we weren't endangering ourselves in the process, since me and Laura Shik do not understand what she had said. The Let's most dangerous thing right she may have... Us. Yeah, the spider's pretty much right next to us. <laughs> The most dangerous thing the spider may have said would have been in reference to some sort of serial play about a bunch of people living in a city together, possibly, where they'll always be there for them. I'm not sure. Is that a rent reference? Friends. Oh, okay. My giant is not good. No, it is not. And neither is his. She just sort of like stands next to you guys. If you Hello. Really, if you really want me to translate, I can. I was just kind of look up and go, oh, "Hi." Oh, you. <gasps> and she. Yeah, Savitz is gonna she, take she off her up. cloak and then shove her sleeve all the way up and show the tattoo. The 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 giant lady runs over to you and picks you up with all of her like hairy arms and like squeezes <laughs> you. <sighs> She actually like sniffs you and she's like Yes That's my sister. I, sat down. I trust you now. And she puts she puts Savas down. I trust you fully. You have ver you have verified that she belongs. She is part of my sister's clan. You are all set with me. Mm -hmm. Savas is kinda of like back up a you know, a few satters actually then look at the arms and go, just like give a little little happy sigh. And then go, all right, well, uh, from what I understand, so you guys contact through Wes, and you've been cut off, so what can we do to reestablish that connection? We have to get us somewhere that has no ash or shelters us from it because it mutates and removes our connection, attempting to connect us to the trees. So, relocate north outside of Silhan? If we go north, that's closer to the volcano. All right. We'd have to go... West. In, we'd have to go into the green. Maybe find Gleam to remove mutation. And it can also work. How far has the mutation progressed? It progresses into me and is transmitted magically into my kin. <clears throat> May I try something? If you want. Hang on. I'm just... Hang on. Hold on. Hang on. Hold on. Okay. I am helping. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay. So I'm gonna. What? What exactly are you doing? Paint me a picture. And tell me what you're doing. Uh. So Rep Rap is is just very gently going to put his hand on the spider, and um, in in his mind, he is fixing mutations. Uh. But 
I would also say unless one of the mutations manifests itself in one of those conditions, it probably does nothing. So, In this case, it would not do anything. Okay, there we go. She looks at you and she says, I appreciate the attempt more than you know. But, unfortunately, it requires a more powerful restoration. I understand. And she's just sort of twitching. So, unless you can stop the volcano or get us moved somewhere else. We might be able to move you. How many are there? Lots, I assume. I do not mean to generalize, but I would also say generally, you never see one spider. Never. If there's one, there are way more than one. At this, An this... odd question, but are there more than 500 pounds of you? I weigh more than 500 pounds. I see. <clears throat> you you look very slim for 500 pounds. Just dodge technician. I don't. I do not understand spider physiology. I am willing to admit how my long, ignorance. How long have you been dealing with the mutation? Years. After this split so, of our family, when we got here, it was slow at first. But recently, the storms have been violent and aggressive. We have a few options. We could go to Yudenskal and have them notify uh, and I I am terrible with names. Notify the representative we sent uh, when she returns and uh, have them communicate to the warbands and use that as a, a hub for getting everyone out. Uh, or we can Spend the night here since it's almost evening and send a message tomorrow and request that uh, they send a party to Yunsgal where they've been or in a toad and have them come into the walking willows or is it walking yeah, willows? You got it right. You got it right. That's good. <laughs> have them go into the walking willows and uh, we'll make a rendezvous point. I'm sure were we not originally instructed to, to were we not originally instructed to bring one of the spiders back? I think that it would be unwise for us to wait three full days when we still need to go and find the next soul forged where we only have one yeet stone that refreshes every three days, but someone like Casimir or Zoya could easily use their yeet stone to come and more rapidly help people or help spiders get out of this forest. We, we do have a second sending stone, though it is more complicated to get the messages back to the war bands. That is correct. We could send message to the forge and they could communicate to the war bands on our behalf. If we feel like it's urgent, that's a one time per day message as well, though, right? And we just used our one message to allow Mira to send a message to uh, inform Zoya that she is okay. I'm completely fine with that. If we, you know, it is near the, the end of the day, I'm unconcerned about whether or not something will happen in the next few hours, but you never did, know what. I did jinx it, didn't you? <laughs> as, as, um, as you're sort of having this conversation, Mira stops twitching she looks at you something should not happen but something is happening I the eternal vision's at it again I will take you to it follow me and she begins to crawl like skitter along the ground into, into the forest Savage is going to follow if you are near me rep you are safe rep rap's gonna follow but I was going to follow and stick close. Yeah, Sass is going to stay pretty close as well. Uh, you guys, I'm going to pull out my maul and ready it and follow closely behind. 
You guys walk for almost an hour before she stops in a clearing. And this clearing, um, there is a turned over tree and it has this red fungus growing out of it. This red, this orange mushrooms growing out of it. Every consciousness that exists within the world has a piece of it at any moment that can break off and generate new ones. I can feel, I'm not as connected, but I can still feel this sort of tumor growing in my mind. And that creates an issue for me. I cannot fight something I cannot see. And if you can, I need your help. She's sort of like struggling really hard. What do you need of us? Um, everyone make a perception check, please. Sabas, perception check. Nope. I am zoning out so fast. Sorry. No worries. <clears throat> okay. Um, all th uh, the three of you, Lorishik, Technician, and Vidar, you're sort of looking into the clearing, and in front of you, this is what you see. You are sort of. Does anyone else see black? Just absolute. Am I blind? Am I? Bl I'm blind. Oh god, Lord I'm Jay. blind. Lord Jay, you do not have dark vision. It well, is okay. It's not We've been over to this. Be that dark though. <laughs> I can't see. Zero feet of vision. Uh, Tell my dad I hate him. <laughs> I just fall to my knees. <laughs> mm. What the heck? Why is it? What are your last words? Fuck you. <laughs> um, I wish I could raise the light level, but it doesn't it doesn't work. Okay. Um, his his last words were, "Dad, that store doesn't even sell cigarettes." <laughs> um, here we're just gonna. There you go. There we go. Okay. Oh, I can see everything. Oh, technician, you cured me. Why? We're what even now. Lesser restoration, more useful than you think. I don't know why. What all can you guys see right now? Everything. Uh, beautiful tree. Roots are pulled out of the bottom of it. Lots of orange mushrooms. Nothing else. I, I, I see. Did you go south? Um, five, five assholes in a trench coat. No. Um, oh, I haven't gone very south. Hang on. Yeah, I can see the entire map. Okay, yeah. There's an there a a undead tree. person of some kind. Is Defender alive? I look over to Technician yes. and say. Yes, I have repaired Defender. I did that when we He's were in Yutskiel. Yeah. So you're sort of standing yeah, on, top right of a, on top of a tree and where the eye, the sort of like eyelets and everything else that were on it used to be, there are these like giant orange mushrooms growing out of it. And it smells sort of citrusy as you're like standing over this tree that has fallen. And directly in front of you, a little bit farther away, there is like a set of mud sort of moving the clay rivers, like a little stream is like running through it. And then directly south of that, there is a very tall sort of woman who appears to be a melded with a tree or like some sort of dryad. Um, just chilling, like looking over at you guys, almost basically unmoving, barely, if anything, just staring at you. Do you guys see what I see? I point like Disney style to the dryads. The dry head. Yes. Mira, is that what you are 
trying to show us? She just nods at you. Who is that? I do not know, but she is the tumor. When you say tumor, what what is she causing? Fungus infection. In my mind, there's a small piece of it that wants to burn it all. I am no expert on mushrooms, but these should not be here. I walk around the uh, fallen down tree and kind of peek around the roots over at her. Mm -hmm. Does she respond in any way? Yeah, she's literally been following you, like just looking at you the whole time, like. Just inch forward slowly. You guys are walking on Hello. Like, a hardened mud. Uh, she Can you looks. Hear us? She she sort of starts looking in between each of you. <clears throat> Silently, just watching. Hello. How very rude. What does it want? Strange, I was about to ask you the same question. It enters my grove. What does it want? How long, how long have you been here? It, you move in. It does, your neighbors. It does not know. You you don't know how long you've been here? No. Are you are you one of those like those druids? Can you like turn into like animals? As it looks at you, it like breaks off. It, uh, like it but it's most of its body was like linked to like a dead stump that has like orange fungus growing out of it, and it breaks off its fingers. And you can see that, like, the mushrooms are sort of bleeding out of it. Like, this orange goop is sort of leaking out of her fingertips. And she looks back. And but directly behind her, there's a large stump that has fungus all over it. You can actually actively see, like, bodies, like, sort of, like, writhing out of it that are, like, infected with, with um, this sort of, like, fungus infection. I put up my finger. Before you do anything unwise, I will have you know that we have killed people and things are scarier than you. W what brought you here? It grew and here we are. Are you speaking giant? Mira, is she speaking giant? I can, I can hardly understand her. Mira's just yeah, like, I, 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 didn't, right. I didn't actually catch that line. We are here on a peacekeeping mission. We'd like to, to find you a new home. Would you like to find a new home? No! Do you have any interest in dying today? <clears throat> she points her fingers down to the ground and these like sort of mushy outbursts and it sprays mushroom all over the ground and all at once the this tree this tree and this tree all uproot themselves as she does that i want to respond by using a charge of feralt's castigator and yeeting an attack at her face okay that will start us off. Everyone roll initiative, please. Ooh, not bad. Not too bad. Roll 22. I'm still going last. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Yeah, everybody max rolled that. 
Almost. Almost, yeah. Wait, literally everyone except for me rolled a 19. And every, everyone except for you and Jeff. RNG. All right, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to go on our 15-minute break before we start this so that we can all be in the same place. Sound good? <laughs> Zoned out. <laughs> all right. 15 minutes. We'll see you guys in 15 minutes. Sure.
Well, I don't care that you're not ready. We're going. All right, we're back, everybody. Welcome back to Legendary Tales. We're about to fight a fight a, a lady who's made of wood and multiple personalities. Um, <coughs> we could have solved this with with speech and and diplomacy and and all sorts of psychology, but no. We were about to ram a I fire tried. down this tree's face. She's not having it. I feel like I feel like. Are you prepared to die today, or do you have a death wish? Is not a negotiation tactic. I, no, I can be. No, you not. know what? I'm gonna. I, the UN's right down the street. I'll just check with them. Is she intimidated? For my uh, amazing intimidation. What you you are you trying to intimidate her? I'm not sure she was pre prepared to die. I mean, if you want to make an intimidation roll, you're more than welcome to try. Are you prepared to die complimentary? No, she's not intimidated at all. Of course he rolls an 11. I'm going to start flexing after I throw my attack. So, so do I have to... So since I did the charge thing and I attacked, do I... Even though I'm out of order, do I still do that? Yes, you're going to you're going to have advantage because she's not ready for it. <clears throat> she is oh, in a surprise so state. No, we're gonna go ahead and have Vidar do his thing. She's in a surprise state, so uh, she has you have advantage on all your attacks against her at first. So it's a Vidar. What would you like to do, Vidar? Am I attacking at the point where I, it's obvious that Lorishik's about to, to swing, or is this before that even? Yes, it's very apparent that he's about to use a charge, and his hammer's crackling with energy. He's going Super Saiyan. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack this other tree that popped up. Because when I see it uprooted, I'm going to try to make sure that since it's the closest to him that he's uh, good to go. <laughs> I see your little blue dot on there. Just asked me if I wanted to consume a resource to cast that. Do I get an advantage, you said? Yeah. There's not a resource to throw your daggers, is there? Oh, that's weird. Assume 27 hits. That's a hit. And because I attacked first, do I get sneak attack or do I have you... to be healthy? Have it. You had advantage, so that is another requirement. <clears throat> if no one is next to it and you have advantage, you get sneak attack. That asked me about consuming resources too. What a booty roll! I'm gonna follow up with a offhand. Okay. <clears throat> I know I'm just laying out all of the original hits. Nobody saw that coming. Six? Okay. <clears throat> Man. You are not doing great. Okay. You know, death by a thousand cuts and all that. Yep. Uh, that brings us to Technician. You're moving back uh, a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to step back behind like the, the tree roots a little bit. Okay. That was supposed to be with advantage, right? But doesn't matter. I mean, if you want to try and get a crit, yeah, roll another one. Sure. Uh... Oh, it was on the 20. <clears throat> okay. okay. Uh... Who are you shooting? I ever targeted the okay. tree lady, the tri 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 triad. The weird part is your color is exactly the same as the targeting number, or the like the color that you have when you select something as a GM. Uh, okay, 14. And we're going to 2D6, sir. Okay. Oh my gosh. All the damage that Vidar was supposed to do has been transferred to Technician. Yay. Um, <clears throat> and we go again. Okay. 
That's a hit. <clears throat> uh, and then bonus action, we're going to tell Defender to attack. Or no. It's, it's, it's drunk Sylvester Stallone. Oh. Yeah. And Savis, Savis is on deck, so get ready. You are uh, you are up after he's finished. Yeah. Uh, that is a hit. Uh, that, uh, anything else? Yeah, that's it. All right. No, that's it. That brings us to Sabbath. What are you doing? I want to cast Shadow Blade. Bam. Okay. Bonus action, cast Shadow Blade, and then move here and throw it. Okay. And this is advantage of rise round, yes. It is. At a tree for rather, or not her. Okay. Okay, that's a hit. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, there's that damage. Oh, uh, it didn't add your plus five. Okay, that's fine. How did it break again? I don't know. Or is it plus. It's plus five. It's plus five. So nine. Nine plus. Sneak attack. What the heck? Nine plus only. That that makes up eighteen. That is that's, that is that's, some that's points of damage. That's eighteen. And then, so move two down to, yeah, I can move here. And your bonus Be action behind is bringing it back, right? Uh, bonus action was to cast it. So right now oh, it's just okay. currently chilling in the tree. Uh, it, 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 well, no, it hit, it disappeared, and now it's gonna be I'll sub resummon it. Okay. <clears throat> awesome. Anything else? Or are you good? Uh, that's all I can do, so I'm good. Okay, lower shit. Hello, I'm attacking at range using one of the charges. That's a hit. <clears throat> then I'm Jesus. going to take my movement. I'm going to move right here. And then I'm going to attack her again. Oops. And... Okay. And then, <laughs> excuse me, uh, I'm going to action search. I'm going to attack her again. That's a hit. Okay. I'm going to attack her again. Okay. That's a hit. Perfect. And then as I'm swinging my last swing, I tell her, you smell bad. Okay. Um, everyone make a perception check, please. At the end of this turn, she's going to use a legendary action. Uh, actually, Vidar, Technician, and Sabus, you notice that at the end of... Uh, like, basically, as Laura Schick baps her, she sort of focuses in, and, um, what's her max HP? Uh, <clears throat> she withdraws, she draws in energy from the force around her, and everything sort of decays, all of the grass around her, everything else, um, even, even the, uh, the treants, the big trees, uh, wilt just a little bit. Uh, 
as she heals <clears throat> herself with a legendary action. Okay. And that brings it to her turn. Uh, tick, tick. uh, Lorishik, what's your AC? 516. 516? Yep. Minus 500. Uh, attack roll on a creature can see within five feet of it, provided it might what? Defender imposes disadvantage on the attack roll of one creature it can see within five feet. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's everyone or just one? Um, nope, it's just all of them. I think oh, it's, it's just it's one. It's a reaction. So which one are you doing on? The first one? Second one? The first one. Or the third one? First one. Okay. The first one misses. Uh, she only hits you with one. Will you make a dexterity saving throw, please? How about no? An advantage, right? Because I'm awesome? No. <laughs> uh, no, but you can do it with a plus five. Um, I'm going to resolve of the bear. Okay. Can do that on this, right? Yeah. There you go. Oh, it says, yeah, you get three of those. <clears throat> or you can roll the exact same thing again. Can I do that again? <laughs> uh... Uh, yeah, it does it as long as you spend it before I say whether or not it succeeds. Wait. Uh, can I use it again? Yeah, I haven't said it succeeds or not. Are you sure that that one wasn't going to so succeed? Good. Why did you waste a charge? Okay, do, do you, First do you, try. I mean, do you want to use it again? Do you want to try one more time? <laughs> he doesn't have any. He's, he's out of his resolve for the day. <laughs> Are you still going to Flash of Genius it? Yeah, I am going to Flash of Genius. Okay. I, I Flash of Genius the seven, so. So yeah. you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage from the dry, from the Dryad. First, Lower Shik, and you are not entangled in its Vine Staff. Um... That brings us to the absorbed. <clears throat> What's their movement speed? 30 feet. Um, <clears throat> Lorishik, what's your AC? 516, we've discussed okay. this. <clears throat> uh, they're all going to club you to death. We, we have, we have flanking bonuses, right? Yep. Correct. We do. Okay. So all of them will you, be at you, advantage. You also you also have very honest players. I do. I appreciate you. Now let me call you to death. Yes, <laughs> That's miss. Nat twenty. Hit. That's four. That's a hit. That's a hit. What? That's one, one, two, three, four, five. There's one more against you. Another nat twenty. Two nat twenties, three hits, and one miss. miss. Great. <clears throat> Let's do the versatile damage first. Do you want me to just tell you the total? Yeah, sure. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, that's what the heck? Why is it attacking? I want I want to damage. Normal. What? Why is it? I feel doing better that? that it's rolling four sided die for you. Why each is hit? it doing <laughs> that? They're all versatile and it's not doing it right. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, that's the lowest possible damage. Uh, that's three, four, five. Are you serious? You are the luckiest person in the actual universe. In the actual fucking universe right now. 2d8 plus 4, 9 damage. 2d8 plus 4, 13 damage. Like, literally, I rolled minimum on half of my total rolls. Okay, so you take a grand total of 16, 21, 34, 42, 43. 43 points of damage. When the the average damage for that should have been way higher, by the way, way higher. Forty three damage makes you the luckiest person in the world. I'm a bit concerned. <clears throat> yep. And now it's the walking willows. How how fast do they move? Thirty feet. This one's gonna use a dash action to come here. What's Mira doing during this fight? Mira it can't attack because technically she's part of her family. There we go. That one's dashing. So this one gets to attack. How many attacks does it get? Two slam attacks. Um, okay. Uh, what's your AC? Sabbat, oh wait. Technician didn't attack it. Sabbas did. Sabbas, what's your AC? Sorry, it took me a second to find it. It's 18. 18? Yeah. I'm thinking. Okay. 13 in Arch Armor plus 5 from Dex, and then also I have not 82 HP because I'm a funny person. Okay. A 20, I'm being hit by a tree. A 26 I'm being hit hits by a you. And a 27 but hits you. I don't like the. I don't want to be hit. Oh, there's the damage. Thanks. Uh, you take 38 points of damage. <laughs> as he slams, <laughs> slams you two times. I have to do math now. Ready to. Thirty-six. Vidar, back up to you. I'm just gonna keep stabbing at the one that I've been stabbing. Okay. You're the one that I stab. You are the one. You wanna? That counts as a uh, advantage because of flanking. It do, because of technician. Uh, 17, I think they only, they have a low, yeah, they have a super, they have an AC of 9. <laughs> yeah, just don't roll a 1. Do I get sneak attack on that too because of that? You do? Because both Sabas and him are right there. And, and should I keep stabbing then? You could stab again if you'd like. Oh! Of course I crit with the offhand. Of course you crit with the offhand. That's still nine. That's still pretty good. That's max damage. There you go. Um. It says it has resource consumption. It does not have resource consumption. Neither of those oh. have resource consumption. I've, I'm removing the resource consumption that it thinks it needs. Okay. <clears throat> um, anything else, Vidar? You running? You moving? You scooting? No, I'm going to stay here so that way if something changes, I can react. Okay. Technician, that brings us to you.
I have to look at something real quick. Hang on. Okay. Oh, I feel I feel like if I do this, it's definitely going to kill the rare chick. But. Well, technically, he did kill you. No. I mean, he, he brought me back, too. He killed you and then brought you back. You're right. I killed a monster two people away who killed another monster who then killed him. I understood the death effect mechanics, but I ignored them to kill monsters that killed you. Um, Are you going to push the tree off a bridge? Is that what you're saying? Yes. I'm going to push the tree off a bridge. I, they're, they're not in here, so I would have to look them up elsewhere. Um, all right, so we're not doing that either way, because I would have to look it up. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep blapping. Okay, keep bapping. Bap away. Wait, are you? which one are you shooting? I have her targeted, don't oh, I? Okay, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I just can't see past Defender's I, health bar. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Um, advantage because flanked? Sure. <clears throat> okay. That's a hit. Poopy roll. Very poopy roll. Uh, Arcane Jolt. And we are going to channel healing into Lorechik. Okay, cool. <clears throat> you are healed for seven, Lorechik. <laughs> and it, it goes through Defender, right? Or like is yeah, that, oh, more, yeah, 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 yeah. For for I mean, it doesn't have to, but it's it's effectively the healing turret. The hit, <laughs> yeah, healing turret. Go, um, okay, and then attack again. Why is Sabus making Constitution saving throws? Concentration. I keep being stupid. Oh. Oh, well, what's that's the highest right. single hit? Eighteen. And the first one. So the first one was low, right? I understand. They were both, the first one they were both the same damage, but remember the first one is always 10, and then the one after that you add the damage to it. So you broke concentration on your second on the second one. <clears throat> I don't see a second one rolled. Uh, it was... He rolled two attacks. The first attack was 19 damage, the second attack was 19 damage. There you go. Which means they're both 10 yep. for the DC. Yep. So I passed both of those. Okay. I just... Uh... Does a 14, does it a does. It does hit. Okay. It does hit. I need a better weapon. Um. And then bonus action, we're going to tell uh, defender to attack. Okay. There's your to hit, I guess. <clears throat> okay. Um, as as you guys are doing damage to her, um, it appears that um, she's no longer taking damage, and the absorbed that are next to her are taking the damage instead. That brings us to Sabus, unless you have anything else to do. I do not. Sabus is up. That's you, Sabus. What you doing? I forgot. I am a skirmisher. You are a skirmisher. Um, which means I can move half a minute speed if people end their turn next to me. I would have wanted to do that. And I do that retroactively. That's fine. That's fine. So you would believe it doesn't. I believe it doesn't probe. Pro no, it does not. One, two, three. You have yeah. brain. You can do this. <laughs> I promise you can work. Okay, we'll put it there. Uh, bonus action. Grab the knife. Yep. Main action. Uh, I don't remember which tree I hit the first. Oh, the first tree I hit the first time is way down. No, there. the Wait. first one's right here. It's the one you have. Uh, that's the Dar has targeted. You can, three you, trees can, now? you can no you can double right click on a token and target that token by the way. It's this <clears> one. It's this one here is the one you Oh, I see. Attacked. Cool. 
Uh, I didn't realize there were three trees. There are three trees, yeah. Alright, uh, bonus action, grab the dagger, and then what I'm gonna do... Hmm... Let me spell this real quick. It's probably a better solution. Where's my sheet? There it is. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna throw the dagger at the one I have targeted instead. Uh, move to there. Yeet. You're chucking the, the shadow blade? Yes. Okay. Swing away. Uh, uh, I hate. Uh, I, there it is. Or not. Cool. So I'm just gonna huck it somewhere in the wilderness, and then just kind of look at her hands and go, "That's not how that's supposed to work." <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, and then back up a bit because being next to big trees is not fun. Okay, that brings us to low air chick. What are you doing? Hello, I'm going to hit this bitch. Do it. I get advantage because of flanking. Yes. Uh, you do. It's a lot of dice Indeed. to get a really disappointing roll. Sure is. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Do it again. Okay. And then I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to Hungry Jaws and... Going to bite. Still biting her? Yep. Okay, hit. She tastes awful, by the way. Ugh. And I t means I regain. You gain three temporary, three temporary HP. Um. Yeah. Do I notice any of the uh, the absorbed around me, like? dead <laughs> yes you notice that two of them um two of them have sort of uh rotted away and now skeletons are sort of laying where they used to be and the third one conveniently the, one, the ones that aren't on me no there's one that's on you that's very close he looks to he the most okay. of his wood parts of him have been rotted away <clears throat> i think that is the entirety of what i can do on my turn Um, uh, at the end of Lorishik's turn, as her one legendary action that she's get, she's going to cast Moonbeam. Oh, no. Am, am, am danger? Yes, am danger. Am, am danger. Will make a constitution saving throw, please? Is this considered an attack? It is not. Damn it. Okay, you do save, but you take uh, half the damage. Uh, you take five radiant damage. And then now it becomes her turn. <coughs> What's your AC again? Me? No. Our boy. The lizard guy. Doing lizard guy stuff. She's attacking Defender. I don't know why you're asking No, she's attacking you. Is. She's attacking you, dude. <laughs> That's weird. It was something that was a power that. of two, right? I feel like it was 512 or something. Yeah, it was 520. Not 516. There we go. That's three hits. Will you make three dexterity saving throws, please? Sorry, no. sorry. Uh, were all of uh, any of those a disadvantage? Oh, uh, no. But I will. I will re-roll one first, of them at first, disadvantage. First one. Yeah, the just first the first one. one. Okay. 
Yep, yep, yep. That was my fault. That was my bad. No, I was I was not paying attention. That's a miss. Okay, so she only cool. hits so two, just two dexterity, two saving, dexterity throws? saving throws, please. All right. I assume that one succeeds. It do. And does that one? Um, I so so I screwed this up before. I know what you're kind of expecting me to do here. Both arcane jolt and flash of genius are reactions, so I'm not supposed to do both of them in the same turn. Fair enough. So I already arcane jolted. I can't I can't help you for the five on this one. That's, that was you. my bad on the Thank first one. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> If it hits, I, I have a reaction I can do. I just need to know if it hits. Uh, you are restrained for one minute. But that's because I failed the second one? The second one, yes. I am indomitable because of level 10. I'm going to reroll that. Oh, shit! And I fail it anyway. <laughs> that's such a sick skill. That's such a sick fighter thing. Holy shit, I love that. Um, you are restrained. Uh, and you can make a saving, a uh, uh, strength, athletics, or acrobatics check. Um, you can use your action to do that. Other than that, you have disadvantage when you attack, and everyone has advantage to hit you. And then you take uh, a total of twenty-three damage. So, if I want to roll the athletics check, I do that on my next turn. Yes, you have to use your action to do it. And it's not an. Oh, it is an action it's to an roll. action to do it, yeah. Or you can just take everything okay. at disadvantage. Or, in your case, normal. Because it... it okay. Advantage. Trick... Uh, yeah. Blah, you get what I mean. Um... Now that you're restrained, all these guys are just going to move over. Are you going to take a reaction or no? Hell yeah, I am. This one is I get a reaction on every single one of them? You get a reaction. You get a <laughs> reaction. This one is looking weak. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll smack it. At disadvantage. At normal. Disadvantage. You don't have flanking on this one. That's fine. I hit it. Yeah. Oh, he dead. Suck a bitch. He dead. <laughs> okay. Um, and then these five are going to attack Defender. And he can't Did make he can't make them have disadvantage. Uh, no. And he took an action last turn, so he's not dodging. Got it. Yep. Go ahead. What's this little guy's AC? Uh, two missed. What a what a good looking question. Uh, fifteen. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Two of them missed. Normal, 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 and wait, only three of them hit. What am I doing? He takes a grand total of 27 damage. Question. When I took the uh, hit on that guy, does that count as the one reaction I get for that entire round? Yes. Got it. Because cool. you only get one action, one bonus action, one reaction. <clears throat> uh, the walking willows also need to make constitution saving throws against the moonbeam. So, a uh, heads up, it's doing that thing again where it won't let me modify Steel Defender's hit points. Or it's just... Oh, never mind. It is. It did it. Never mind. Never mind. I keep thinking it's the, the circle, not the bar. I don't know why. Okay. <clears throat> All right. What's your AC, my dude? That's, that is a question. I think it's 20, and I'll explain why. 
But I believe at 10th level, my Artificer Infusion for Enhanced Armor is actually plus 2 instead of plus 1. Yes, you were right. Oh, it is 20. So you are 20 at 20. Jeez. Good thing they have advantage. Well, that's not a face I want to see. Okay, um, one of them missed, and two of them crit. Here's one crit. Here's two crit. And here's a normal one. 75 points of damage. Uh, okay. What does he... Ha oh, okay. I um, believe the technical term is a twat hair of health. Yeah. How much do you have left? Well, three? Three. <laughs> um, and there's a moonbeam on you. But I, I don't even know what a moonbeam does. Uh, at the, the start of your turn, you make a constitution saving throw or else you get shot with a beam. Unless someone can interrupt her. If you can destroy her con concentration, that spell will not go away. <clears throat> destroy her conversation. Conversation. Oh, boy. All right. What's the range on this? Here's the question. Is teleportation considered movement by definition of terms? Are you Only casting a teleportation or are you doing a teleportation? I'm doing a teleportation. And it and it doesn't consume spell slots or anything like that. Does it consume a legendary action of any kind? It it consumes a bonus action. <clears throat> Then I would say no. It's it's not movement. The Sabbath. There's a thing. And no, he didn't move next to you. Oh. I don't like think. Did it use the spell teleport? No. It has oh. it has root walking. It can it can literally move between between roots up to 120 feet. See, the problem is we're having this fight in a forest. If we were doing this this in like downtown Brooklyn, none of this <laughs> shit would be happening. Are there no trees in downtown Brooklyn? I mean, there there are trees, but like they're in little planters and everything. They're not connected to each other. They're connected to just like irrigation systems and stuff. Well, luckily he doesn't have advantage, so only one of them hit you, Sabbath. Damn you. 14? 14 points of damage? Fuck you, I'm keeping my concentration. Yeah, there you go. And that brings us to Vidar. I'm gonna keep stabbing at the uh, technician's new friend. See if we can clean that up. Okay. Do it. And advantage because of blanking? Uh, technician is technically not dead ish. <laughs> you don't you don't need. Literally if you don't roll a one, you hit this thing. <clears throat> and you get sneak attack because technician is awake and next to him for the time being. Okay? <clears throat> So I have a question. Why is it you like to kill me in this campaign? Is this because you're trying to get me to play Star Wars every week? Is that, <laughs> is that what's going on here? Oh. Pay me sneak a pay. Attack, it, pay. Sneak attack is still asking for all of the uh, consumables, by the way. Is it really? So is the one that I stabbed, was that the one that actually pounded the snot out of him, or was it the other one? They both, each of them crit him. 
The second, the other one on the right side was the one that smashed the shit out of him with two hits. <clears throat> so basically, they're sitting there smashing on him, and as he's raising his hand for another mm -hmm. smash, the little blue knives come flying in and just chop the arms right off, and it kind of sprays some sap out, and it falls over and all that kind of stuff. And in my mind, Technician is kind of like bracing for the impact, and then the impact never comes. And... He looks up, and Vidar's standing there, kind of like, you know, keep fighting, don't stop now. And then throws his other offhand knives at the other one that's on the other side okay. of uh, Technician. Chuck it. Rep, 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 rep throws Vidar a thumbs up and makes agreeable pleading noises. Actually, oh shit. Uh, the giant treant dying uh, causes two of the absorbed to wither. Eight damage. Okay. <clears throat> that Anything else, Vidar? Are you moving? Nope, just stabbing the other one. Okay. Which you've already done. You did good. Okay, that brings us to Technician. You should make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> a constitution yep. saving throw, please. Okay. <clears throat> you save. Let me go up to Moonbeam real quick. Where is it? That's like way up. Okay. <clears throat> no! You take two points of damage because I rolled four. Four! I rolled a four on 2d10! How, you have one hit point left. What are you doing? <laughs> what was that? I'm, I'm, I'm overreacting. I'm, I'm overreacting. That's what's about to happen here. Uh, Lorichik, this is about to suck for you. I apologize. <laughs> oh, no. Is it what I think it is? Yes. Oh, it's the sh Cone of Fuck. Shit. Oh, my. Dude, we're, we're gonna play Cone of Fuck real quick. Okay, so, right. okay. So, okay. Okay, okay. The amount of damage that's about to happen to every single creature in this is about to be wrong. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just have to prep myself to, to be lost here in a second. <laughs> It, it's going to be a lot of deck saves. It is going There's to be many dexterity saves saving throws. Okay, okay. so so we'll start with we'll start with Hebeo catapults them if I can find it. I, it's not on my quick bar. This is the best. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do where where the hell did it go? Did you? Oh, okay, there it is. I didn't do anything. Don't blame me. All right. So, Rep Rap is going to take a fragmentation grenade out of his backpack and pull the pin, throw it up into the air, and cast Conjure Barrage. Now, let me place my, my cone here. Okay, so everything there makes a DC 17 dexterity check. Um, it's 3d8 damage just for the barrage, half on a on a uh, on a save, including you, Lurishik. Sorry, and Lurishik says at disadvantage because he's restrained. You could flash of insight that <laughs> to save Lurchik at least. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Lurchik, you're getting flash of genius. So you save. So then we roll three d eight. Okay. Okay. So 
Yeah, so you take nine. Everything else takes 18. Then the grenades go off. Yep, and they make a bunch of little circles. They each make a 20-foot circle. And they each deal 5d6. Just roll 5d6. Okay. Just roll 5d6. I'm working on it. I'm on the wrong All, of, yeah, all of these guys are dead. All three absorbed are dead. Just letting you know. All three absorbed are just straight up dead. <clears throat> oh, shit. Okay. So okay. that was... Hold so, on. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, let me let me make a twenty foot. Let me make a twenty foot circle real quick. Okay. <gasps> okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have to make a dexterity save and throw my dude. <laughs> I do. <laughs> um. Fuck you, fuck you. Every one of us is dying today. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, DC 15 goes to the defender, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tie, tie, yeah, tie, yeah. Me tie. Meter, meter. Yeah, okay. Defender is beyond demolished. Defender is non-existent. Uh, no, he... no, he isn't because he, he took 18. He has seven left. And then he's uh, taking 18. Plus he hasn't eight. done his dexterity save for this yet, okay. so he might still take half. What are you talking about? Half of 18 times 5 is not enough hit points for him to be alive. 18. No, 18 is the... Oh, oh, he's taking 5 grenades. He's okay. taking 5 grenades, dude. He just caused to remind the entire bottom yeah. half of the map, and I'm going, yeah. what do you mean my guy's not going to The dog me? survives. Uh, the lower dog Schick, survives. Lower Schick is taking nine times three. No, 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 you don't make another dexterity saving throw. You've already saved yours for the whole thing. So you take another 27 points of damage. Did she... F yeah, they all failed. All of them failed. So he no, takes... No, I take 54 one, points two. of damage, right? Because I have... I'm in six circles. You're in six? You're in one, two, three, four, five, six. If you took half damage, it would be nine <laughs> times six, 36, right? It'd be 18 Or have I completely lost? Two. It right. would be 36. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, 36. 36. 36 damage. No, 9 times 6 is 54. I don't know where we got 36 from. 6 times 6 is 36. <laughs> so 54. 34 is why I bat. So I still, it's on double, so I'm not instant dead. I'm down. You are down. You are zero. You're at zero. Defender is, at this point, this so we're response. just going to treat all yeah. these as one hit, not yes. individual hits, they're right? all one hit. Okay. They're yeah. all one hit, all together. There's no way that Defender... Wow, he's yeah. five hit points from being fully dead dead. He was five hit points from being fully dead dead. Uh, technician also goes to zero. Yes. <laughs> you absolutely go to zero from the one on the Treant right there. And then the Treant mm -hmm. is in... Four of them, but he's taking full damage. I need eight, uh, calc. 18 times four is 70. He's dead. Uh, she, she go bye bye. She takes five of them. Wait, no, she also takes six. Six times. Okay. 108. 108. Yeah. So she has two hit points left. Okay. We have successfully resolved that monstrosity that Day Day put on to us. There's literally not a constitution saving throw in the world she could make to make that concentration check. No fucking way would she make that concentration check. Oh, wait. Uh, I mean, technically it's six times ten Wait, she also checks, took so. the 18 damage from the initial... So she is also dead, yeah. and this tree is also dead as a result of that. So! Uh, yeah. I'm going to sprint there and fucking deal with Lorishek <laughs> real quick. One second. One second. <laughs> we are not fully done with this turn yet. That was just on Technician's turn. Technician, will you make a death saving throw for me, please? I also need a death saving throw sure. from Lorishek and from Defender, please. 
just from the damage that what, what is my death saving throw for you okay. went to zero you're at zero hit points you need to make a death saving throw right away i thought that was well it's on his turn i thought no the when you go down you immediately make one that's oh. part of it you successfully saved one i also need one from uh defender please <sighs> technician I don't. Defender does not make death saving. Throws. Oh no, he's Defender a he's, he's, just he's, dies he's, and he's a construct. He's we a just zero. Pick him back he's up. just a zero. Yeah. He's just a zero. Yeah. yeah. Sabbath, it is now your turn. If you dash and use a, uh, if you dash with your main action, use a bonus action to give him a potion. You can give this man a potion. I can do it either way. Bonus action, dash, rogue is funny. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Get a potion. Okay. Uh, go ahead and click that healing potion. Go. I gotta find it. One sec. I. My reading comprehension has turned into nothing. <laughs> no They're not in my inventory. They removed from my inventory. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, um, why was there like a two week rollback? It ruined everything we fixed. It did. Uh, yeah, there's something going on. And I have doubles of all the special items again. Of course you do. The fuck is happening? I don't know. It's, okay, what was it? 2d4 it, plus 4? Uh, yep, 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. Eight. Holy shit. Nice roll. At least someone's rolling well here. Hey, Lorishik. you have a HP. Lorishik, uh, you come yeah. back with eight. Um, it is now Lorishik's turn. What are you doing, Lorishik? So but yeah, Savage is gonna like wake him up and then like pull him up and then point to Technician like, your turn, go! <laughs> and so the best part is right I, uh... Oh. I'm not restrained anymore, right? No. You, so the best part is you guys literally cannot hear each other. It's impossible. You're yelling at him, but all of both of you are just tinnitus. The whole thing is tinnitus. The whole thing. You're just like looking at each other going, what? And then she points at technician. Yeah. Technician is just like laying yeah, on the ground with like she's shrapnel. Like holding, an empty, holding an empty healing potion and like pointing you at technician like, not again. And both, all both of you here is... I nod at Savis and I meander over to Technician and I search through his bags looking for grenades. You don't give him a healing potion? I search through his bags looking <laughs> for grenades. Investigation check. You'd have to make an investigation check, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say DC 15. Ah! Peter B. Ah. Ah! I take all of the grenades <laughs> and put them in my bag and then take out a potion and give it to him. You now have four fragmentation grenades in your bag, you dickass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice nuclear method, loser. I'm taking that. Okay. You get 10 health points. You get 10 health points. And with that, uh, we're going to go out of combat. We are done with combat. You guys have defeated the Dryad, the Tumor Dryad. And Technician, you can't hear. Uh, Vidar, I would be with, Actually, Vidar, make a Constitution saving throw. Let's see if, let's see if your hearing got damaged. No, you're good. But literally, that was the loudest noise all of you have ever heard in your entire life. Ever, ever, ever. But all of you are just sort of looking like Sabbath and Loershik and Technician. All of you are essentially deafened for the time being. Because you, all you hear is a ringing. And you're like, yeah. So all of you have disadvantage on hearing base perception checks if you can do it at all i don't even know if i want to even let you try because hearing based stuff there's no dice okay oh. so first of all <laughs> so first of all we're picking up we're picking up defender okay so you take a few minutes i i was prepared for this actually as it turns out no no it's it's instantaneous with mending you could pick up a construct with mending oh oh it is instantaneous okay yeah well one one minute but 
Yeah. Uh, is it? It's okay. one minute casting Manning, time. Manning has a cast time of one minute. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Got it, got it, got it. Which is okay. lame. You should, you should be able just to cast it instantly. Like, imagine walking up to someone and being like, yo, you can't take off your coat anymore. Fucking nerd. Wait, I'm sorry. Is it one or is it 52? I thought it was, I I thought don't it was full know. health. I think, Ed, sure. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter because we're not in combat anymore. Um. Uh, All right, so then... <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can, I can undeafen one more person, and I think it's gonna have to be, it's gonna have to be a little. Automatically check. fails any ability check that requires hearing. Okay, I didn't know that. That's what actually deafened actually meant is that you literally can't hear anything. Um, who are you? Who are you taking the deafen it, condition it's, off? It's gonna, it, yeah, it's gonna be Lorishik. Okay, so Sabbath, you're watching technician do all these things, and you can't hear. Uh, actually, make constitution saving throw because you were far away. You were far away. Yeah, I was. I was pretty far away. One sec. I am good at con saving throws. Let's go, gamers. Yeah, you're good. You're so right. literally, literally, Loershik and, and technician, you're like staring at each other. Loershik is probably really, really upset. I would assume that you're very upset about what happened. Um, and both of you are in in. in obnoxious like the most pain you have ever felt in your life because Lorishik's skin basically didn't exist for a little while until the healing potion basically brought it back <clears throat> um I can't even imagine I can't even describe what what uh, the actual like craziness that actually happened in that fight it was literally you throw up a grenade and then all of a sudden whoo, just blankets the whole area and then everyone is shredded oh, wait I'm actually confused on how what the hell happened. So literally, I... so he threw up a he held a grenade up and then cast conjure barrage. It uses non piece of light, magical ammunition. It duplicates it and throws it over an area. And he used fragmentation grenades as that non magical ammunition. So there, so this is this is something that Devin and I discussed before. So normally, if you were to do that, would say something like uh, a, a potion of alchemist fire, right? Yeah. What happens with the potions of alchemist fire is that it shatters when it hits an object, and then the contents of that start to burn. The trick with Conjure Barrage is that the contents of whatever you threw, or the thing itself when you threw it, they basically disappear at the end of your turn. The problem is that grenades explode and immediately deal their damage before your turn is done resolving. Yep. So, they basically explode and then immediately disappear. <laughs> but the... Yeah, that's I. Yeah. Uh, we both agree that this is a limited use thing that can only happen. Yeah, that's happen. why I didn't buy twenty freaking grenades. Yeah. I had the money for it. <laughs> that's why I made grenades expensive to make sure that this is not going to be a thing that happens all the time. Yeah, that was yeah. Uh, that was a no more dying today. Let's let's end this combat immediately. <laughs> yeah, that, this is probably a make a blast shield object uh, <laughs> kind of thing. All of you react by creating shields. <laughs> I'm just being like, just like technician, like everyone's like sea technician pulling out like a riot shield made of like pure steel, and everyone's just like, shit, run. Loershik, have you seen any other grenades around here? I seem to have dropped mine. Grenades? What's is is that? What you threw? <laughs> yes, yes, I threw I threw a grenade, and then it made more grenades. That was the first time I've ever seen something. Like that. that was awful. Don't do don't do that again. What you have more of oh, those? I I, I did. I may have dropped them. Have you seen them? I I just kind of ignore them. Do I? Is there any parts of these trees that are remaining uh, on the ground, like big chunks of their carcasses? Uh, so the big the big treants, so they all exist still. They're just giant husks of what they used to be, and they're like sort of leaking this orange sort of um, <clears throat> almost looks like orange sorbet, but it smells almost citrusy. But you can definitely tell it's like a fungus, like a. I don't know. I don't even know what the the liquid inside a fungus is called. It probably has a term for it. But <clears throat> um, mycelial ooze. Basically, that's what it is. Yeah, you could definitely tell that the treants that were that were brought up were infected with um, fungus. And then the dryad herself is still like she's sort of laying to the side, but most of her like flesh and like tree parts have been blown off by shrapnel and everything. Um, Savis is gonna. Make a bonfire. Uh, sorry, the the spell. Mm -hmm. um, light of basically a torch, and then just go around burning the rest of the fungus, basically. Sure. 
um, from all of all the, she does the trees, that. the trees, the dryad, this massive pit of like fung sub above, just literally just go and just torch all of it. Okay. Do you guys mind if we we rest for a few minutes? I after I I I, I don't feel well. Uh, Mira walks over, and she's she actually surprisingly still. <clears throat> For once, and she just looks at you. She says, "You may all rest here for as long as you need. My kin will protect you from the trees overnight." I walk over to one of the what were they called? Uh, the walking willows, mm -hmm. um, and I rip a giant chunk of their husk off and use a cunning artisan to form one of their husks into a shield. That's sick. One of the treants. <clears throat> yep. That's sick. It, like you pick a you pick a part of one of them. They're all like covered in shrapnels. So essentially, you have like little chunks of steel all the way across it. It looks like it. It looks very battle damaged. But yeah, you now have a shield. Here, I'll I'll add a shield to your uh, to your character sheet. Do you have one? You don't have a shield, do you? <clears throat> I don't think I do. I I do. I, I gave do you back that bone shield you made before. I don't. I think you might have given it to somebody as art. I'm not sure. Yeah, I I don't have it in my inventory anymore. It was definitely in D D Beyond. Did you give it to Shirk? I think you gave that bone shield to right? Shirk. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you might have. They don't have while um just a normal shield. While Sabas is walking around, I pull out the uh, spell scroll I have, the, my sixth level spell, scroll, yeah, spell scroll, and I, I hand it to her and say, I was I was going to give this to Technician, but I, I think that you might, you know, have better use for it. And also, I'm kind of upset with him. <laughs> I, you now have a sixth level spell scroll. And I, I so jingle did, did my Savis, bag. Did, did, did Sabas see him going for grenades? Uh, make a perception check. Actually, wait, what was, what was his investigation? Uh, it was really high. <clears throat> it was no, it was fifteen exactly. Yep, it was fifteen. Uh, exactly. I made sure she saw it. I made <laughs> okay. sure. Uh, re, 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 I made sure Vidar and Sabas saw it. Has anyone seen my grenades? Sabas is Sabas is. Uh, uh. I take my bag and I just go shake, shake. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Sabas is gonna. Take the scroll and try and see if she can read it. Um, if you can identify it. Well, yeah, basically the way it works. I don't know if you saw what I posted. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So if it's something I could eventually cast, then I will know what it is. Uh. So okay. is it in the sorcerer spell list? I will tell you in a second. Um, is anyone okay. else? Vidar, what are you doing? Uh, I'm staying back just because I saw that there was more of those things. And I don't know what sets them off. So I'm staying back where I was and just sit down after it's all over in a kind of exasperated, like, what the hell was that kind of uh, plop? So you're just sitting down? Yeah, I'm not going to go hang out near grenades. That doesn't sound like a fun idea right now. I told it to repeat that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you're sitting, you're just sitting there watching Mira is sort of walking over, like prepping, like pulling, also pulling like pieces of the trees off, um, any extra thing to like make you guys like a makeshift shelter. And you can actually see that there's a lot of her kin are sort of like dealing with stuff, helping Sabis, making sure she's not lighting the, the forest on fire, but helping her get rid of the fungus infection stuff and anything else. Yeah, Sabis isn't like, like Sabis isn't like swipe torching it. She's like cauterizing it mm -hmm. would be the right word oh yeah you're taking and, a dagger cutting off the mushroom burning the stump kind of yeah. thing and they're they're also like marking trees that are potentially infected as well because they have like they've been like clawing into them seeing if they have that sort of orange growth um and yeah that uh does mira appear to be any better now that the she's dead she's no longer twitching and shaking She's perfect. She's lit sitting perfectly still. She doesn't appear to have any issues with it. Mira, now that you, now that that's dealt with, are, are you, do you still need to relocate uh, because of the ash or, or do you, would you prefer to stay here? 
I we will need to relocate if we can just get out of the ash. But you're going to be okay. Do, do you need any healing or anything as a result of what she was doing to you? No. You have you have successfully you have successfully removed it. So I thank you all of you. Um Sabbath, it is a sunbeam cell spell scroll. And yes, you can cast it eventually. Okay. Well, you can cast spell scrolls that are higher. I just it's just like You can read it. It is a sunbeam. You, you can cast spell scrolls even if you don't have the slot to cast yeah. them it's just if you know them. Stack. Stack. He's saying he's saying you can cast it and you would have been able to cast the same spell eventually. Yep. Oh. oh. So you can read yep. the spell yep. because yep. you have it available to you. So yeah, you know I am very is. tired. I am very tired and nauseous. I would like to go. No, it's fine. Well, we could actually end it. We're almost right on time at three hours, so we're almost there. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up on this uh, basically where we are right now. You guys will be resting inside the Weeping Willows on our next episode. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, we will see you next Tuesday. Um, I hope everyone has a great week. Stay safe. Do the right thing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everyone have a great week, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.